breaking harder than Jaws out there today. Uh, <laughs> tip number one, paddle harder. What's up guys, it's Cassidy and we have Tyler. We're here and we're gonna give you our top three tips for complete beginners for the SUP downwind. So what's our first tip? Uh, today was my first day and our first tip is to stay perpendicular to the front of the board and perpendicular to the wave. It's better for pumping and better for paddling. All right, the second tip for complete beginners is at first, when you're first starting, don't, act, don't worry too much about getting up on foil. Just get your balance on the board and figure out the paddle, figure out your balance, figure out how to keep the board going straight downwind um, while maintaining speed and, and, and uh, balance. And then tip number three, don't get frustrated. It's a hard thing to learn, and you're not going to get it on your first day. In fact, none of us did. Um, but it was really fun, so just get back out there whenever you can. Yeah. Bonus tip, paddle strokes along the rail of the board, as close to the board as possible. That will make sure that you're not turning. Yeah, yeah, here, let me demo. We're gonna get a little demo here. That's good, Cassidy. Getting as close to the board as possible and getting a super nice long, powerful stroke is gonna make sure that you have the maximum amount of power. Yeah, have fun out there and stop by Wind Dance Board Shop to get into paddle foiling. That's kind of level one, and as we progress, we get into greater distances. Tunnel 5, Drano Lake, and then the sky's the limit. So some of the techniques and tips that I would like to share was definitely all what they said. But one of the things that I really notice while I'm out there is first get in the area where there's actually going to be some nice swell. You don't want to be off to the side of the river where there's really no ramps. You want to go where those ramps are. The best thing that's going to get you up on foil is finding the location where the swell's the best. So get out to the swell, rest for a second because usually it does take a little time to get out there. And then just sit out there, kind of, it's like watching the waves out on the coast. The sets come in, find that biggest set with like a lot of little white water on the top and set yourself up. Uh, like Tyler was saying, be perpendicular to the wave face. Basically, you just want to be perpendicular to the power. If the waves, if the swell's behind me, I want to be perpendicular feet and the paddle. So when I'm paddling, that power is going to shoot me forward down the way to allow me to get that speed I need to engage the foil and actually start riding. So your stance is a key thing and being perpendicular and, and strokes that are in front of the board. Once you go behind your back foot, you're pretty much wasting all that power. So there's no point going past. It's kind of just wah, 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 wah. Get a couple of those in. By that time, you should have enough speed to get up on foil if you have it. Don't gas out, relax, kind of wait for the next. Another tip that I recommend is this back foot placement. A lot of times I like to do a little more narrow when I'm about to catch and actually link up on the swell. And then once I start riding, I'll put my foot back right onto the pedestal so I have a lot more control, more uh, steering uh, power, and I won't blow out. If I don't do that, it doesn't seem like I'm really getting the glide. So putting your foot a little more far forward, keeping your uh, center of gravity right in the center of the board. Try not to lean too far over all at the same time as you're paddling because your nose will endo, so you don't want it to dive into the water. So having it come back is really going to help you plane, get that board speed, and get up on foil. So really love the Rocket 7. Just got this in a couple weeks ago. Uh, it's 20 and a half by 5.7. Just a great size, you know, intermediates, beginners, people getting in the sport, this is gonna be a definitely winning ticket for you to get into the game. Uh, it has a nice grab handle here, so when you're getting out there, high wind, the board's not gonna fly away on you. But this for us felt like this was a great size. All of us are probably under the 165 range, so, and it was something that allowed us to get up on foil. I think the weight on this is about 13 pounds, maybe a little less really light feels like. Got the carbon wrap, got a nice chimed rail, 
got the nice pointy nose. All this is just gonna account for board speed when you're out there. I like this nice uh, recessed little drop in the, the bottom of the board. It's gonna allow you to have a little thinner rail to allow you to have a little more connection to the foil when you're here. You can see that space, that's really cool. And also help kind of release some of that water as you start to charge the swell. And very nice, love the tail. Just a real fast board, something that's gonna go down the line and get you the speed you need to get up on foil. Another key feature, does have rail savers that come with this board, so it goes all the way, extends to the nose, Play an area where you're gonna see a lot of the impacts of the blade or your paddle, and then you just have the nice rail saver here, so when you are uh, resting your board out on the beach or anything, this is gonna help protect that nice carbon rail. And the boards do come with the bag, so we might as well showcase the bag that this guy's gonna come with. Love it. You're gonna buy such a beautiful board, you're definitely going on a bag to go with. Nice rip stop material, three grab handles, uh, some compression straps, and a little tool kit in here. Everything you need to go to travel the world and just protect this great stick. So hopefully you enjoyed all of us, we are shredding. Luke was the pro here. Uh, we got some really good footage of him, but for us uh, sharing the tips, hope you really enjoyed you know, the, some of the beginner tips that Cassie and Tyler offered. I had a couple tips myself. I think if you kind of absorb all that that we talked about, you're really gonna get on the right step on the Downwind Sup program. And the F1 boards that are just coming out, they're gonna be in our shops here and in the month. They have a full lineup of sizes. It's really awesome to have these boards in the shop. Just another sport to be engaged with here in the Gorge. Stoke you to watch. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Hope to see you soon. Winddance.com. We out.